everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 874 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I'm going to be trying out a product that I got in my June 2020 Boxy Charm Premium Box. So this is the Zoeva Eyeshadow Fix in Matte. So if you want to see all of the products that I got in my June 2020 BoxyCharm Premium Box, I'll have my unboxing video linked in the description down below. But I'm excited to try out another Zoeva product, but also this is an eyeshadow primer and I love eyeshadow primers. Pretty much every time I use eyeshadow on my channel, you'll see me use an eyeshadow primer. Usually I use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I love that. It's my go-to eyeshadow primer, but I do have others that I like as well. However, that Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, I think retails for $24, and it's basically the exact same size as this Zoeva one here, which this Zoeva eyeshadow primer retails for $12. And so this has a little squeezy tube, unlike the other eyeshadow primers that I've tried out, which have a doe foot but this is fine with me. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little bit out on my finger and let's do a little swatch. Okay, it does have like a cream color to it. It doesn't look super pigmented, but we'll see how it is on my eyelid because I like to cancel out some of the color, like discoloration in my eyelids, but this seems to have a very similar texture to the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion where it's like a balm cream. I do see that matte finish. No, it's definitely gonna be hard to see on my hand, but I did see that this comes in a pearl version as well, which would have a little bit of like a shine to it. I would be happy with either eyeshadow primer. It doesn't really make much of a difference to me because I end up putting eyeshadow all over my eyes anyways that the primer doesn't really matter what it looks like. But so I'm just taking, you can see the tiniest little bit, and I'm going to apply this to just one of my eyes so that we can compare the eyeshadow application with and without the primer. Yeah, you can see that's definitely going on with a lot of color. I may have even taken too much. And I thought I took such a tiny little bit, but a little bit does go a long way with this. And as I'm blending it, I can feel it start to get kind of tacky, which is a good thing because then it will actually help grab onto the eyeshadow so that it's more pigmented. So yeah, I did go in with kind of a lot it seemed like but it did a great job of canceling out the discoloration in my eyelid very quick and easy to apply now that it's all over my eyelid it looks it's like smooth there's no streakiness to it so let me show you the difference in my eyelids and you can just see like how there's so much discoloration and you can see like the veins <laughs> on my eyelid on the eye without it, but then there's some nice coverage on my eye without it. So even if I just wanted to wear this as like a bit of an eyelid concealer, kind of to cancel out that discoloration, I like how that looks. And then you don't have to worry about any creasing because that's another great benefit of using an eyeshadow primer is that it helps prevent creasing. And I have a lot of lines in my eyelid and I do not like the look at all of my eyeshadow creasing even the tiniest bit. So this definitely seems to be very smoothing to those creases. But so first impression, just this eyeshadow primer alone is really good. But I'm also really curious how it works with eyeshadow. So I'm actually gonna go into my Tartiste Pro Palette. And this is a palette that I got in my June 2020 Boxy Luxe box. And I did a full dedicated review video on this palette already, which I can have linked in the description down below if you wanna see that. But I was shocked by the difference that 
the eyeshadow primer made with these eyeshadows. So I figured this would be a great palette to test out the eyeshadow primer with. So I'm not gonna do my full eyeshadow look with all the different blending. I'm actually just going to focus right onto the eyelid because that's where you can really see the difference. You know what, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and start off with this same color that I used in my other video where I saw the most dramatic difference with and without the primer. So it's this red shade here called Mod, and I'm just gonna pick up a flat eyeshadow brush that I use for packing color onto the lid. And so why don't I start out by just doing half of my eyelid in this shade. So I'm applying this right now to the eye with the primer. And just like when I tried this out with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, I am so impressed by this shade when I apply it onto the lid with the primer. I'm like, wow, that's so pigmented and beautiful color payoff. Like so buildable and just very impressive. So yeah. That shade looks really good. Looks the same as when I use that Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So right now, this eyeshadow primer is, I would say, just as good. If not, better, because I think this Zoeva Eyeshadow Primer has a little bit more coverage and pigment to it to actually cancel out the discoloration in my eyelid compared to the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And now I'll go ahead, like, do you see this? I am using the exact same eyeshadow. And it's like, it's not even showing up in the least. And it's actually very frustrating to me that the eyeshadow performs honestly this badly. This is, this actually is kind of like a joke. Look at this, I just tapped it on like right away and you got that full, beautiful color. This one, I am layering and pressing down and trying so hard to apply this eyeshadow. And there is barely, barely any color. It's very transparent and very light. That's crazy. So say I didn't have an eyeshadow primer and I was just trying this eyeshadow palette out, I would be like, this is not a good eyeshadow palette. The pigment is not great. The color doesn't show up true to pan. If I was trying it out on this eye, I would be like, I don't like this palette. It's not good. This is a $49 palette. I'd be like, that is not worth $49. Then you use it with the eyeshadow primer and I'm like, whoa. That's beautiful. So yeah, that's why when I try out eyeshadow palettes, I also always try to try it out with and without a primer. And it, sometimes it doesn't make that much of a difference depending on the eyeshadow formula, how good it is. Sometimes it looks the same with and without a primer. And that's kind of a true test in my opinion to know how great that eyeshadow is but I would expect Tarte shadows to be really good, but they're not good without a primer, in my opinion. Okay, so yeah, that, like, let me just do like a zoomed in view up close so you can see that difference, but it is so obvious. I'm just gonna clean my brush off in the brush cleaner material here. And I think I already have my conclusion that this eyeshadow primer works so well and I love it, but I figure I'll just go in with another color on the other half of the eyelid. Why don't I go ahead and use this purpley shade? This is called No Filter. Oh yeah, like I just pressed that onto my eyelid and it's the exact same color as it is in the pan. 
just such intense color that I love it. It's so impressive, so easy to apply. I don't have to use nearly as much eyeshadow to get that full color. Like that is a dark, full color, fully opaque eyeshadow. I actually love that color. That is so pretty. And I just so quickly got that full opaque eyeshadow look. So now let's go ahead and apply it to the eye without the primer. It's like, is there anything on my brush? Yes, there's the exact amount of product, exact same amount of product on my brush right now compared to the other eye. And I am applying so much. I'm using a harder hand, like pressing down harder. And it's not doing anything. I would have to spend so much more time and use up so much more eyeshadow trying to get even half as much opacity as I have on the eye with the primer. Yeah, this is so crazy. I could, it just blows my mind, the difference. I don't like how this eye looks at all. But then this one, those colors are beautiful. Like I would need to add probably a crease shade, do a little bit more blending to make this eyeshadow look perfect. But those colors, those are nice. I like that red and purple combo. On this eye, this eye I'm like, that's just a hot mess. <laughs> But okay, one last test I wanna do is check for creasing. None. You can see, I'll try and show you, that when my eye is open, there are a lot of lines in my eyelid. And that's just genetically how I am. I don't think I can do anything to smooth out those lines, but so that means just all day long, my eyeshadow is going to be sitting in those creases. But when I close my eye, it's completely smooth and there's no creasing, no texture. Beautiful. So in conclusion, this eyeshadow primer is awesome. It's absolutely a game changer with this palette. So. If you have never used an eyeshadow primer, I hope that this video convinced you on how imperative, <laughs> is that the word I want to use? An eyeshadow primer is to wearing eyeshadow. And my eyeshadow is going to be able to stay looking this pigmented and bold all day long until I decide that I want to wash it off. Whereas this one, it's already not there. <laughs> so I will absolutely use this Zoeva eyeshadow primer whenever I'm doing eyeshadow. I, well, I still have my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, but I'm running low on that one again anyways. But I will definitely start using this one as well because it is so good. This is a little reminder to myself as well to never do eyeshadow without an eyeshadow primer. Well, thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.